I only heard about the Sedna expedition about two years ago. Uh, Susan Eaton, our expedition team lead, put an article out on Huffington Post inquiring for another female to join the team. Uh, my stepdad actually saw it, sent it my way and thought it'd be right up my alley. It's obviously it inspired my adventurous spirit and the idea of moving into the unknown and doing something that I've never even dreamed of before. Um, but also in line with my work as a paramedic and with mental health work, um, working with the Inuit community in Iqaluit obviously really provoked um, some inspiration to join the team as well. There's such a dynamic, diverse group of women on the team that all come from different backgrounds. Um, it also has me excited to just interact with all the different women and learn more about science and everything else that they have to offer. I travel quite extensively. I like to dive when I go to different countries to get more of an inside look at different countries that I'm visiting from the ocean perspective. Um, it's an amazing way to travel, really. I'm a new dry suit diver. I had to get my certification for this expedition. Got it a couple months ago in Squamish, BC. I think that it really goes in line with um, the matriarchal society of the Northern Arctic, as well as empowering females from a very young age all the way to elders that we'll be working with. Um, I think it's very important to provide that empowerment and that inspiration and to kind of provide a mentoring support for different possibilities within their community and bring our knowledge and, and different career paths open for them. So it's awesome on a number of different levels.